All right, as we head into our evening hours, we do see increasing clouds. You're looking at our Luther Family Ford view to the south and west of Luther Family Ford across I-29. Some lower clouds, some darker clouds, and a possibility of a few raindrops to the south of the FM area right now. Let's take a look at those current conditions. 53 degrees on a cool day with brisk north winds continuing. Dew points are in the 20s. That's very dry. So our surface air real dry and it is cool. Only 40s today up in northwest Minnesota and heading into the evening cooler air uh, continues. So we have clearer skies up in northern Minnesota but stormy weather all the way through the high plains of the western Dakotas into western parts of Kansas. We have active tornado warnings even up into Nebraska. For us there's not much in the way of lightning with this, but do you see the oranges here? Heavy batches of rain heading towards Dickey County, Lamore County, Southern Stutzman County, with sprinkles working their way through the uh, I-94 corridor, moving in the general direction of the FM area. So within the hour or so, don't be surprised if there's some windshield wetting moisture working its way through the heaviest, though, staying to the south near the South Dakota border. So if you are in Britain, South Dakota, in towards Hankinson, some pretty good soaking showers are on the way to that area. And your hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows that's where the heaviest uh, precipitation potential will continue through the evening hours. Along and south of Interstate 94, it continues all night long. Now, temperatures will be mighty cold up north where you'll have some breaks in the clouds from time to time. We're talking sub-freezing, so that's where the freeze warning is. But look at the blue on the screen out here in the James River Valley. Let's take you in a little closer to that morning activity. In the early morning hours, we could have some flakes mixing in, or it could be flat out just snow in a few areas. And it could accumulate in some grassy areas west of Jamestown and south of Jamestown. Now, as we go through the midday, things warm up a little bit, but we're going to have an east wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour, stronger than that down near the Sisseton Hills. Showers persisting through the daylight hours in our southern counties before finally breaking as we go towards daybreak, and it, or the day's close, I should say. Decreasing clouds late, and the best time of the day will be in the later hours grassy areas to get a trace, maybe even a couple of inches of snow west of Jamestown, west of Ellendale, less west of Cullum, and rain uh, amounts could approach an inch or so along the international border, South Dakota border, I should say, where you see the green colors. Freeze warning up north, frost advisory along Highway 2 all the way out to the Bemidji area and out to Maddox. So cold weather up north, and it'll be chilly here in Fargo. We start the day close to 40. Temperatures ramp their way up. Best chance of showers in Fargo will be in the morning half of the day, but we do stay cloudy into your evening. Winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. They'll be from the east and again peaking only in the low 50s for our day. Coolest weather south where the rain chances are better. A few peaks of sunshine here and there up north and you'll be near 60. Gorgeous photo here uploaded of the moony skies over Sybil Lake. Brenda, thanks for taking the time. We'd love to see your photos. Upload them at valleynewslive.com. Planning forecast after a frigid Thursday for many. We still have frost potential on your Friday morning. Then we warm it up into the 60s. Saturday hit and miss showers and thunder showers in the forecast. Then we do warm up for the last two days of our three-day weekend. On Memorial Day, it looks to be the driest and warmest yet, near 80 for Fargo. And we're talking about temperatures near 80 into the middle of next week with a chance for yet more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Excited to announce the uh, return of our CashWise photo contest and this week's winner, Sabrina Christensen, with this wonderful photo of the garden helper out there. Thanks so much from West Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, step into your local CashWise in the meat department. You can scan and uh, sign up, upload your photo, and you could be the winner of a $250 gift card from our friends at CashWise. Excited about that, and you guys, I know that you may not be excited about the weather, but the weekend looks to like, like we'll have some outdoor time for sure. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Thanks. You bet. Up next.